All right, let's take a closer look at this race car because it's got everybody talking and there's so much to talk about when it comes to the features of this car. Here's a computer animated look at these sleek lines and the all new styling that brings back the brand identity and also uh, combines the safety efforts of the Generation 5 car as well. The panels have, uh, the side panels have revised aerodynamics for the purpose of getting rid of the dreaded aero push which drivers and fans alike did not like. The rear end has changed dramatically, especially the spoilers. As we take a look at those, they're a little bit smaller, but this car does have a tremendous amount of downforce and grip is what drivers are talking about so far. For more, let's go to Matt Clark. Hey, thanks, Johnny. You heard all the drivers, even Danica, they're referring to their cars as he and she, and they're sexy. Well, that is true. These cars look great, and we're going to take a closer look at the noses of all three of these different manufacturers. First of all, we've got the Chevrolet. We take a closer look. It has more radius than the other two cars. Now, Chevrolet has made a, a distinct design on their front, very sleek, very sexy, as they would call it, clean and classy. But as we move to the lower grille, it's flat until this lower bottom, two and a half, three inches, just a little concave, sets their nose apart from the other manufacturers. Now, as we take a look at the Toyota, they have done a great job of incorporating their feel, their vibe into the nose of their car. They've been very, very calculating in how they make this nose look. As we look at the Toyota badge, sexy, right? Rolls into this badge with the front nose a little bit more flatter than the Chevrolet. Their grille, flat. But one interesting and distinct feature is this scoop, which will come into play as we move to the short tracks. Now, let's move to the Ford. You heard Joe Joey Logano, talk about this grill. It has a distinct insert. It is the only manufacturer that has one that's applied separately to their nose. Teams will have to change this out on a regular basis as it becomes pitted and worn. And Johnny, one other thing that's distinct about this Ford is this lower grill. It's more recessed, and we're going to have to keep an eye on what happens as this car heads to the track and how crew chiefs and teams deal with the debris that gets built up on that lower grill.